In this week's news update, we've got all the latest announcements and release news for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So let's jump into this week's video and break down all of this week's news. Before we jump into this week's previews and announcements, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that way we can keep you up to date with all the latest flight sim news and updates in these weekly videos. The first developer out of the hangar this week is Simwork Studios as they've been working on the new variant of the Kodiak, which is the Amphibian version. The team mentions that the Amphibian version is due to release next month after Smart Date 10. Simworks is currently fine tuning the Amphibian variant and they're also updating the flight model of the whole 100 fleet. Once this is all completed, the team will share the package with the manufacturer of the Kodiak for final checks and then we should see an update for release. Moving on to the next bit of news for the week and after the release of the Velocity XL the team over at Black Square have been very busy on other projects including the Steam Gauge overhaul which we should see released very soon. This week the team announced they are in development with another aircraft which is the Beechcraft Starship. The Starship is similar aircraft to the Velocity however it's much longer, wider and faster and it was originally designed to succeed the King Air. Unfortunately the aircraft did not succeed with only a handful of the airframes have been built. The team haven't revealed many details about the release or what stage the Starship is under its development other than a few screenshots provided. Of course, we're going to keep you posted on this one as we find more news come to light. In some more announcements for the week, Seafront Simulations this week announced they have an update version 2 to their ship AI add-on. Version 2 includes a significant boost to the variety of boats and ships and that version 2 includes on top of version 1 over 50 boats added to the variety to a very very high detail. They are regionally balanced so you'll see more typical types of boats in each individual area. So if you're in Asia you'll see more type of Asia boats as an example. Minor LOD improvements have been included and version 2 is available through the Orbex store and it will be coming to the InSim marketplace very very soon. Taxiing over to this week's releases and the first release is really more of an update but it is from the team at PMDG as they released an update for the 737-700. Version 3.00.0025 now has been released. Most notable change introducing in this update is the improved ground steering model. According to PMDG, this new steering model integrates the 737 more tightly into a Microsoft Flight Simulator. PMDG did provide a development update on the 737 family of aircraft. The 600 variant was due to release at the end of June. However, it's been pushed back due to the team at wanting to implement a new lateral flight path model. Originally, the 800 is estimated to be released in early August, so we may see the 600 very, very soon. No word on much of the anticipated EFB implementation into the updates. The team are still working on this and keeping their cards close to their chest. Moving on to the next release for the week and this goes to the team over at Aerosoft this week releasing a brand new UK airport Exeter. This airport is located in the county of Devon which is the southwest of England and it has a rich history dating all the way back to World War II. Nowadays Exeter serves a bunch of GA aircraft but it does have schedule and charter flights to some destinations such as Paris, Spain and Amsterdam. The airport runway is suited to aircraft up to 737s or A320s featuring Included in the package is 4K PBR textures used throughout the whole airfield, clutter objects and 3D people to bring the airport to life, custom a high def ground layout with special reflections, handmade mesh to correct the coastline and realistic runways, custom static aircraft and you can pick up your copy of the Aerosoft Exeter Airport directly from the Aerosoft store, I'll leave a link in the description below. The next release for the week, which is another airport release, this one is from the team over at Burning Blue Designs with Rochester Airport. This airport, like many in the UK, is full of rich history. Rochester has gone through many transitions over the years from the Short Brothers using the airport for testing in the 30s to commercial flights across the channel in the 50s and 60s. Feature included in this package over 90 custom 3D objects, thousands of carefully placed stock assets, ground textures have been colored and corrected, Working custom windsock and surrounding areas have been enhanced. You can pick up your copy of Burning Blue Designs at Rochester Airport directly from their store. A link in the description below. 
The next release is from the team over at UK2000. This week released a new airport, Flagstaff Airport. The team are known for creating detailed airport scenery in the UK, but lately have been crossing the pond for a few projects. Flagstaff Airport is located in Arizona, which is 80 miles southeast of the Grand Canyon. If the name sounds familiar or rings a bell, it's featuring some of the in-sim training flights. Mostly used for GA flights, but it does serve commercial traffic from American Eagle. The features including the package is a full detailed buildings, realistic ground markings, high res ground imaging, PBR materials, GA static aircraft and animated flags. You can pick up your copy of Flagstaff directly from the Sima Marketplace store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Entering and lining up for this week's Sim Update news and it's all about Sim Update 10. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out our video that we released early in the week. This breaks down all the main features about the beta and what does it have in store for you when you finally get around to updating the beta or once it's released in August. This week the Microsoft team mentioned after a week the beta is being going well and they have received valuable feedback that will influence upcoming builds of the Sim Update 10 during the testing process program period. The team mentioned that they have completed some updates of their own aircraft to work with the sim update and these can be downloaded in the content manager. As the team have been working really hard on the beta for Sim Update 10, we haven't seen any news when it comes to the development roadmap or the feedback snapshot, which is, we expected that. The InSim Marketplace store this week received 32 new products. 15 of these are on PC and 17 of these are on Xbox. So highlights this week is the Discus 2C from Got Friends and the F35 Lightning from India Fox Teco. The rest of the inclusions this week are a bunch of livery packs, sceneries and airports. But be sure to check because there is a massive a lot of aircraft being updated in the InSim marketplace. Remember to jump over the content manager and see if that's one of your aircraft. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator news, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way we can keep you updated with all the latest information. Stick around for a few more minutes as we check out what went wrong in this week's stream and it's a lot of fun. I'd rather not have to worry about it. Oh Jesus, we're coming way too high. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. little slip wasn't it but I got then I got carried away <laughs> these things are so much fun to slip the arrow products